from News 4 Jacksonville, so maybe it's Jacksonville. Uh, but the young brothers' names are Zion O'Dane Denver Hall. He's 21, and I'm sitting here wondering why he got so many names. That sounds like two people. That was one person, Zion O'Dane Denver Hall. Zion O'Dane and Denver Hall could be two people, but it's not. Uh, they make up one nut-ass Florida fool. The other young brother name is Tyreek. Or Ty, yeah, Tyreek Devontae Williams. He's 19, and with a middle name like Devontae, clearly he was conceived to a Jodeci album. Salute to Devontae Swing. Drop on the clues bond for Devontae Swing, damn it. Uh, Devontae from Jodeci is such a legend that mothers in Florida out here naming their kids after him. Wow. Drop on the clues bond for Jodeci, too, damn it. Uh, and last but not least, Tremaine Raekwon Hill. <laughs> He's 18 years old. A uh, round of applause for his father, naming him after the architect of the purple tape. It's easy to tell when a child's father is a Wu-Tang Clan fan, isn't it? Uh, well, these three aren't the Wu Gambinos, but they are accused of being part of a criminal organization committing burglaries, armed burglaries, fraud, gun thefts, and other criminal acts throughout South, South Florida. Uh, what's interesting about this combination is one of my favorite songs ever in life is the Freaking You remix, Jodeci featuring Ghostface, and you guessed it, Raekwon the Chef. And in that remix, Casey and JoJo keep asking over and over, what must I say, what must I do? to show how much I think about freaking you. Forget the freaking you part. But every time I close my eyes, okay, I see the great state of Florida asking the rest of the country, what must I say, what must I do to show how much we are crazier than the rest of you, okay? It's incredible to me how Florida never ceases to amaze me in regards to showing how crazy they are. Now, at this moment, Right now, I guarantee you, it's somebody listening to The Breakfast Club. They're listening to me, Charlemagne the God, do donkey of the day, and they are currently on house arrest. Drop on the clues bombs for everybody on house arrest. I guarantee somebody on house arrest is listening to us right now. They got an ankle monitor on, and they can go to work. They can go to school. They can attend counseling. They can attend therapy. They can complete community service that was mandated through the courts, and that's it. Other than that, they better have their asses in the house or they going to prison. It's just that simple, okay? House arrest is much better than the alternative, which is being locked up behind those walls. When the alternative is jail, house arrest should be a breeze. The whole point of house arrest is to walk the straight and narrow path, but not when you're from Florida, okay? When you're from Florida, you got to find the crooked path to walk when you're on house arrest, and that's what Zion O'Dane, Denver Hall, Tyreek Devontae Williams, and Tremaine Raekwon Hill uh, did. Okay, they all were already all on house arrest, every single one of them. They were all on house arrest for previous offenses. What were the previous offenses? A string of burglaries. They all had ankle monitors on, the GPS ankle monitors that tracked their locations. But guess what? All of them are back in jail now. Would you like to know why? Let's go why? to WVSN Fox 7 for the report, please. Three suspected burglars busted after officials say they went on a stealing spree across South Florida. Tremaine Hill and Tyreek Williams, both seen here, have been taken into custody. An accomplice, Zion Hall, has also been arrested, police say. They're accused of committing nearly 30 break-ins across Miami-Dade and Broward counties. Police say the three stole about thousands of dollars worth of guns, jewelry, and electronics, all where they were supposed to be on house arrest. That's right. They were all on house arrest for burglaries, ankle monitors. So they decided to do what? <laughs> More burglaries while on house arrest. God bless them. Uh, certain people you just can't convince they have to learn the hard way. These three are the type to smoke while pumping gas. They the type to walk in a convenience store with no shirt, no shoes, no mask, and still expect service. These are the type to show total disregard for do not enter signs. Beware of dog, please. Aware of these three stooges, all right? There's nothing you could do for any of these young men right now that they would listen to. All three of them the type to get caught with a fake penis during a piss test, okay? These three are the type to just have to touch the stove to know how hot it is. And guess what? You must let them. That's the only way they're going to learn. My problem with these kind of situations is the Florida judicial system is probably going to throw them under the jail, all right? They're not going to get a third opportunity to get this right, okay? Authority seized more than $150,000 in cash, an AK-47, a Smith & Wesson handgun, cell phones, iPads, jewelry, designer handbags, uh, ammunition, blank checks, fraudulent debit and credit cards, and a stolen vehicle. 
right? Hall is facing 35 counts. Williams and Hill are facing 25 and 19 counts, respectively. These young brothers are going to prison, and they have nobody to blame but themselves. Everybody deserves a chance to clean up their mistakes, okay? Everybody deserves a second chance. But sometimes life gives you a second chance because maybe, just maybe, the first time you weren't ready. And I agree. These brothers weren't ready for prison the first time. That's why the state of Florida put them on house arrest. Okay, Florida, like, let's see. Let's see, all right? Then, while on house arrest, y'all commit the same crimes that you got put on house arrest for. So, yeah, you may not have been ready for prison the first time, but you got a second chance to prove to them white folks you absolutely deserve to be in prison now. Congratulations. Hopefully after this decade or better you give to the state after this uh after this third chance after doing this ten plus years, hopefully you will learn. Uh please give Devin you find all his boys' names. Yeah. Please give Zion O'Dane, Denver Hall, Tyreek Devontae Williams, and and I don't know all these Negro things. Just give all three of these brothers the biggest he huh? Uh -huh. Wow, they keep playing this every Every hour, I think. Uh, how long is it? It's a six-minute bubbling, you know, uh, saying that they have no one to blame but themselves. I mean, that's a son of a bitch if I ever seen one. You know, he's despicable. Despicable, you know, but that's your God, right? That's Charlemagne, your God. You know, I mean, I'm 